we're here to talk about uh, what makes a great economic development uh, story. It's an, uh, an existing business owner, a smart idea, starting a new venture. It involves the talents of, of our staff with the development guys and agriculture. It's a, it's a growth of agriculture, which is another part of economic development. We had our finance uh, team uh, get involved to help uh, uh, put some financing towards it. It's leveraging state dollars to further enhance the agriculture industry. So it's, it's just a great, uh, it's a great story. And, uh, you know, we love to see new businesses, especially businesses that are, uh, you know, in a, uh, an emerging market. I mean, the craft brewery industry is, is growing and um, I'm a fan, personally. Thank you very much. <laughs> As someone who has lived on a farm for many years and, and really desires to preserve our farms in Howard County, I appreciate the innovation that Randy and Mary Mariner are bringing to this and, and having this the first on-farm microbrewery in Howard County. And it's exciting that the EDA has been so involved and everyone else from, uh, from the agriculture area, Kathy's here too. And I just want to thank you guys for taking this step. Uh, for having faith in Howard County and for building business and economic development here in Howard County and by using the Ag Innovation Program that I guess seven farms have already received some and hopefully we'll have more in the future and this is a way for us to preserve farming in Howard County and to have innovation and economic development. So with that I just want to thank Randy and, and Mary and I wish you all the best. Congratulations. This story started three years ago and our local delegation took us to Annapolis and changed state law. Local Howard County government helped us change local zoning to permit this use that didn't exist before the state law was passed. And now Economic Development Authority is helping us build it. So talk about a, a perfect partnership between government and business. It, it really is heartwarming in a time when it's, it's tough to be a business guy and even tougher to be a farmer. Yeah. And I'm just, you know, I'm green acres. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the gentleman kind of farmer. I, I, I don't know what it really is to be a farmer. Mary grew up he does farm. know how to road a till. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, but on the other side of that fence, it's going to be our hop field. Right now it's been 14 acres of corn and about two acres of hops, um, which will be more of a, the sizzle that sells the steak. Um, we'll blow through those hops in about a what a week maybe maybe, maybe. Uh, but uh, you know it really is exciting to, to be here today and thank you all we're gonna give you this this big check for your big thing <laughs> <laughs> right in the bank today <laughs> put it in your wallet <laughs> well i mean i mean the really good news is the wire already transferred <laughs> whereas this is very pretty but it, it's it's a good thing so thank you so much this is, um, you know, there's probably not too many farmers that can really afford to do what we're doing um, in order to do it the right way and not make more than just a you know, couple bottles of beer. Um, so we, we plan to do this and make money. And, and so that we can continue to do it. Correct. And hire employees. And it's, it's, it's all about business. And we'll expand the commercial tax base of Howard County, which is going to help with quality of life for everybody in Howard County. And then it'll also go into our second restaurant, which is going to add another 100 people yeah. to work. Wow. So it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good.